It's cold today, cracking crew. Crew, we need to fix something before we get started. Bear with me one second. There, that's a bit better. Christmas for my sister-in-law. Thanks for that, Haley. Today we're going to be making some keychains for a company that I work with. It's not the company I work for, but it's someone that we partner with quite a lot that sends us quite a bit of business. Uh, I just wanted to make him, a, make him a couple keychains just kind of as a thank you. This was intended to be a Christmas present, but uh, time got away from me a little bit, so I apologize that this is a bit late. Better late than never, right? Anyway, let's get cracking. The first thing I did was model up the company logo in Tinkercad. This came off the printer pretty clean, so let's get it packed in some sand. This is a special kind of sand called Petrobon. It's made of fine clay, sand, and oil, especially made for sand casting. We'll run it through this flour sifter to break it into small parts to capture all the detail, then pack it into the flask tightly. This is just some baby powder to keep the two sides from sticking together. We'll spread it around so they don't stick and get back to packing. Now we're going to cut up some copper pipe to use in the casting. Now we'll crush it flat so it'll fit in the crucible. I'm going to make an alloy called aluminum bronze. I need to weigh out my copper, so I need to know how much aluminum to add. We have 600 grams of copper, so that means 60 grams of aluminum.
using a punch and a hammer, I'm going to put a small dimple in the top of the keychain. That way I can drill a hole for a loop. Now with that simple, the drill bit won't wander or walk, it'll go straight through. And here they are all cleaned up. I think they turned out rather nice. I'm pretty pleased with how they came out. Now you'll notice I cast six of them, but only cleaned up four. Uh, there's two reasons for that. There's four loan officers that I work with over at CCL. Um, so that's who I'm making these for. The other reason is the other two, uh, they came out a little rough. They weren't quite as nice as I like. Um, and that's why I always cast extra, just so I have the option. That way I don't have to start completely over. I can pick and choose the best ones to clean up. These will get remelted for a future project. As I said, these were supposed to go out for Christmas, but time got away from me. I apologize for that, but these are going to be going out real soon. Well, that's going to do it for us today, Kraken Crew. We're going to end with one big thank you over to the ladies at CCL. I don't know if you guys made it this far in the video or if you're even watching, but if you are, I really just want to thank you. You guys are just so great to work with, and I really appreciate everything you do for us. Thanks for sticking around, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, if you got this far, hit that subscribe button down below. I've got more casting stuff coming out in the future. Any questions, feel free to hit me up down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Thank you.